couple days ago, we had an announcement from Trackhouse Racing. They would be bringing in a third car as part of Project 91. And today, we have found out who that driver will be. It is a star from Formula One, but not Daniel Ricciardo, as I speculated it to be. It is none other than 2007 Formula One champion and 21-time Grand Prix winner, Kimi Raikkonen. Now, Kimi Raikkonen, of course, you all may be familiar with. He did run in NASCAR before. He ran for a truck series race as well as an Xfinity series race in a deal that was set up with Kyle Busch Motorsports and the truck series. And it was set up with Nemco Racing over in the Xfinity series, which was a team owned by Joe Nemechek. Okay, yeah, so actually on the Xfinity Series side, the, the owner was listed as Kyle Busch, but it was in that 87 entry, usually ran by Nemco back at that time. But yeah, Kimi Raikkonen has been in NASCAR before. He's never ran in a NASCAR Cup Series, though. So this will be interesting to see him step into a NASCAR Cup Series car, especially the next-gen car. He'll be racing at Watkins Glen, as it was announced. So another road course, I was thinking maybe we'd see someone at Road America, but Watkins Glen is also a good option to go to. Trackhouse Racing has a pretty good road course program, obviously of Ross Chastain getting the win over Circuit of the Americas. So just be interesting to see how Kimi Raikkonen does in his next NASCAR race. It's been, gosh, 11 years since he made those races in the Truck Series and the Xfinity Series. So a lot has changed with him. A lot has changed with NASCAR itself since then. So it's going to be interesting to see how Kimi Raikkonen does in Project 91's entry. So I, I, I'm i looking forward to it. I don't know what you guys are thinking, but I think this is a great opportunity for all parties involved, Trackhouse Racing, Kimi Raikkonen, everybody. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how this goes. Also, stay in tune to 12.30 Eastern Time. I'm recording this video at like 9.15 in the morning. So, you know, I don't know what we're going to see come out with Junior Motorsports, but they have hinted that an announcement is coming today. Now, one speculation that I have seen online, and I'm kind of agreeing it might be what we see, we might be seeing an announcement either for Chase Elliott to make another start where he did not get to make that race where he was rained out and qualifying. But I think it might also be his Hendrick Motorsports teammate, Alex Bowman, finally getting confirmed for a race in the number 88 entry. Of course, we had the three drivers, Chase Elliott, William Byron, and Kyle Larson confirmed be running the HendrickCars.com paint scheme. I think what we're going to see is Nashville Super Speedway the 88 taking the track in the Xfinity Series with Ally on board as a sponsor, possibly running that Ally Neon Lights paint scheme that he ran at Nashville last season. I also think we might be seeing soon a Ally special paint scheme for the Ally 400 coming up this year at Nashville Super Speedway. So stay tuned to that. It might not be that, but they have hinted that they have a big announcement coming up today at 1230 p.m. Eastern time. I'm looking forward to seeing what it is. Let me know what you guys think down below of Kimi Raikkonen's announcement of Trackhouse Racing. And who do you think is going to be in that next announcement for Junior Motorsports? Leave your comments down below. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you leave a like on today's video. Subscribe to my channel for more NASCAR content here on Danny B Talks. And until next time, hey, I hope you guys have a great day and enjoy the Coke 600 race weekend and Indy 500 this weekend. Bye, guys. Hey, race fans. Thanks for watching this video from Danny B Talks. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss another video from my channel.